Tahiti Iti, the quieter side of Tahiti with her majestic cliffs, endless waterfalls, daily rain showers, new life, and a hidden history hundreds of years old. A place where every home on the water has a dock, where fishermen peacefully pass by only using a hand line, where Polynesian traditions are instilled even in children who just began to walk to those who embrace the company of foreigners, where the ocean is their common playground. This is Tahiti Iti. You get to spend the day with me today and I'm gonna say it like the tourist way. Chopu Tahiti Safari. I'm gonna explore Tahiti Iti. Chopo. 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 <laughs> but only with me. Brian can't go, even though this is our 10 year anniversary gift to ourselves. I'm going solo. Brian has a beautiful, rashy, staffy infection on his shin with a slight fever, but we're on antibiotics. He's on antibiotics. This is my ride for the day. Hi, love. Have fun. Thank you. Hi, so I'm Cindy, live in Tehupo, and we have a, a company that does tours to Tehupo. So this is my dad, Biar, and he's our captain for the day. And this is Cindy's rad mom. The part of the island we will try today to explore is, is the Tepari side of the island, which is only accessible by boat and it's also exposed to uh, open ocean. So you guys swim? Okay, great. There is no dock on that side, so we have to jump in the water, swim, and then go on the reef. Um, we we'll probably will have like let's say two long walk it's not really hikes huh? it's more that walk for the today they forecast sun uh, there is a little swell it's not too big but there is like three swell this little swell created the perfect playground especially for cindy's mom where the surf spot of Te Ahupo is. Uh, today the waves are small, but it's good for us. When it's on, how big can it be? Ah, 2011, we got a swell that was like, let's say professional estimated at 10 meters, the wave of the day. But uh, since three years now, we got like not, nothing, nothing big. Hopefully this year, Te Ahupo will be on. Entrance into these hidden gems requires a little swimming and a little diving. How can you not want to dive under the rocks when greeted with such a big smile? Wow. Almost everywhere you turn, your view is of lush rainforests, rivers, and waterfalls. short walk into the forest and history comes alive. It's amazing to think petroglyphs like these are hidden throughout the valleys and coastlines. Distance, 
I had no idea Cindy's dad was actually going to drive into the cave. Now I understand why the swell needed to be down. There was still a lot of movement in the water, and I loved feeling all that energy. There was no sleeping on this adventure. November to April is the wet season, and January is supposed to be the wettest month with an average of over 13 inches of rain. But it feels like it rains that much every month during the rainy season. This rain feeds the amazing streams and waterfalls, which feeds the vast diversity of life in this area. Tahiti is part of a hotspot volcanic chain and consists of two basalt shield volcanoes. Tahiti Nui, Big Tahiti, and Tahiti Iti, Small Tahiti. This is our last stop on this adventure and it's the fresh water area so we can rinse off all the salt. This has been a fantastic trip, adventure. So much fun. Ryan, I wish you were here but I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> yes, the river was cold. It felt like 75 degrees. And that's cold to me now. And no river is complete without a swing. The sun was getting low in the sky and it was time to return to Naoma and to Ryan. Thank you, Cindy, an amazing crew for an incredible day. This episode is made possible with the support of viewers like you. Click the link for more info.